So glad to have you here on my YouTube channel. My name is Ebenezer Hollani Pekun. You are welcome to City of David's Evangelical Drama Ministry, Codem TV, where you'll be watching an edifying, inspiring, and soul lifting content. Just do well to click on subscribe button, then notification bell, and you'll be alerted anytime we drop a movie. Don't forget to share, like, and comment. When you like, our movie will be recommended to others. Thank you very much. May the Lord bless you. I love you. I believe God in that man's life. See how God manifested himself through him. Boyega, can you see how the entire congregation will feel the power of the Holy Ghost? That's deep. That's deep. James, is that only what you observe? What about the manifestation? I mean, how the cripple threw away their crushes? How the blind regained their sight? How cancer disappeared? This generation is so blessed for having such a good apostle. Hmm. Hmm. The most interesting part were those that were quickened in the spirit. See how people were blessed with hunger. Higher. Most especially, many rededicated their life hmm. and some gave their life to Jesus Christ. I believe that tonight's program will be strongly powerful. And God is going to win. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. 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 How was the program? I've been there for a moment. Listening to your conversation. I still don't get it. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? That the revival has been built upon the surface of the earth. I see that the Lord is raising army. They are leaving their cave. Yet, we haven't seen their work. Jesus Christ. There are many today will be blessed with hunger. Tomorrow, they are down in spirit. Ready? I still don't get it. But, Pelumi, how? Hmm. Many came to this impartation service mm -hmm. to receive, to be revived, yes. to be quickened, yes. and to take all of fire. Many came to be enlightened in spirit. Oh. But instead of them, when they get home to rekindle do that fire, they mm. quench it. Oh. Jesus. I still don't get it. Jesus. You see, this generation is so blessed, truly. But I don't get it. I don't know what is happening. But Lumi, yes. can you explain more on this? As I was meditating yesterday, a particular scripture pop up in my mind. Leviticus chapter 6, verse 12 to uh, uh, 13. The most interesting part of it is that a, 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 a passage that said, The fire upon the altar must not go out. <laughs> Means the fire must not be quenched. Oh, yes. And the Lord began to reveal some things to me, which I have to tell you. And what's that? You see, the Lord is trying to tell me. Uh, what's that? Mm, you can you can come. Come. Okay. Once again, I congratulate you. And I I rejoice with you. I am the most fortunate and blessed lady. Irrespective of my mistakes and flaws, you can still forgive and take me back. Thanks, my love. My dear, 
you have found grace in my sight. And um, it is not everybody that sees this kind of opportunity. <laughs> Your sins have been forgiven. So go and sin no more. But this time around, take good care of this pregnancy. You don't have to listen to any counsel from friends or anybody. But you can listen to the counsel of the comforter, which is the doctor comforter, which I have assigned to you. So, listen to you. Dear, I promise I'll always keep to your instructions and meditate on the manner you gave me. And if I suspect any strange thing, I'll call on Dr. Comforter. Mm. But please, promise me you won't stay long this time around. <laughs> My dear, it's just a must for me to live. It's a must I live to go and prepare a better place for you. It's a must for me to live and prepare a better place for you, I, and the family. And also, I have a lot of assignments to attend to. So, it is expedient for me to live at this time. But please, Dr. Comforter is there for you any time. Just call on him. He will answer you. Okay, dear. <laughs> You won't kill me with jokes. How is that possible? How can a man kill thousands of people with just a jawbone of an ass? That's hilarious and expensive joke. Don't be deceived, Elizabeth. I know it's your husband, Mr. Godwin, telling you those kind of stories. At this age, don't be deceived, my dear. It's not possible. You are no more a kid. You need to rise up. You are a grown-up woman. What are you trying to say? Are you saying those stories are not real? Are they lies? Don't get me wrong, please. Try to understand me. Understand what? This same story was confirmed by Dr. Comforter when I went for checkup. He said this same man operated the gates of a city by his hands. Wait, 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 wait. If I guess right, you're pregnant. Yes, of course. Two months old. Wow. Congratulations, but you know, I must say this, you really offended me. But anyways, I've forgiven you. If you're my friend, there's nothing I can do about it. My dear, you know what? We need to take care of this this time around. This same mistake must not repeat itself again. Dr. SM is going to take care of this one this time around. And there won't be any problem. That same doctor. <laughs> Thank you so much. Never worry at all. Besides, our family doctor is there. And I was warned by my husband not to try or visit any other doctor except Dr. Comforter. So please, let's forget about that, okay? Let's take another discussion. You know what? I know my thoughts towards you. They are of good and not of evil. Can't you see my own kids, how beautiful they are? And the same thing I want to happen to you. The only thing we need to do is let's make it a secret between us. You don't need to tell everything to your husband. It can be a secret between us. I love them. I love them. And that's the reason why I followed you to that man in the first place. But instead, the pregnancy got spoiled. Six months pregnancy. Can you imagine? If not for God's mercy that I found in the sight of my husband. That doctor, SM, he is out of the game. My dear, come off it. Come off it. You know the fault is from you. You were given drug on prescription, but you took overdose. So it's your fault. And I promise you this time around, it's not going to happen again. My dear, I have many ladies that Dr. SM has helped out there. And they have beautiful kids. And besides, this Dr. Comforter that you've been shouting about, I've never had any good testimony concerning him. So, you don't need to follow your husband's instructions all the time. But... But what? Come on! Let's try this man for the first child. Then, 
later we can be using Dr. Hessen. Then I wish it can work that way. You know what? I'll give you this suggestion. We can use both doctors. Your husband does not need to know about that. We can use the two of them at the same time. And besides, I've never had anything good about that so-called doctor comforter. Is it that those children he delivered? Is it that they are they look like Kwashiorkor children or older than their age? So, you see, my dear, I want the best for you. You know I love you and I want the best for you. And for you to know that I want the best for you and I can do anything for you. I'm ready to pay half of the money. Oh, darling. Thanks so much. I'll try and inform my husband about this. In fact, he will be very happy to hear this good news. You see, that's why I said you're still childish. Must you inform your husband about it? That's why you have the brain to think for yourself, to reason on your own and take decisions at times. You don't need to inform your husband about this. It can be a secret between us. Besides, I don't need to meet your husband for anything. <laughs> Thanks, dear. I couldn't even believe you bring yourself so low to my level. Eh? Considering your age and influences, you took me as a friend of this entire neighborhood. You are the first person to get friendly with me. I really appreciate it. I will think about it. You don't need to talk about that, my dear. I think you should think about it on time because I don't even know what you're thinking about. It's better you make it snappy so that it will not be too late. I think I have to take my leave now because I have a lot of place to touch before I get back home. I'll see you some other time. Okay? Okay. Let me see you off then. Am I doing the right thing? This must not repeat itself. Come to think of it, this woman has been the only one friendly with me in this entire neighborhood. Others, they just mind their business. And again, all our children, they look beautiful and attractive. Moreover, it was my fault the other time. I took over those of those drugs. Dr. SM must be an expert. Let me give him a try. At least, my husband will not know. Abby, what am I even saying? I rebuke every evil counsel upon me. No, it won't happen. Never. <laughs> Mrs. Elizabeth Godwin. You see, the mistake people make is that um, they, they don't follow instruction. They don't follow instruction. They don't. They, they, I don't know. This time around, now you say you are back to me to have me as your doctor. If you have me as your doctor, you have to follow my instruction. You have to use all my drugs as prescribed. Not that I will place you on drugs and you will be following another person's prescription. Now, this time around, do you really want me to be your doctor? Yes, doctor. You see, the, uh, 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 what people don't know is that you people, you are just endangering your life. Abby, you are just endangering your life. Because uh, it, it, when, when you are following to doctor's prescription, you, you don't know who is who. And now you, who, who are you going to blame at the end of the day? It's because of your health. So this baby now has come to stay. And I will try my best. I will try all my best, all my, all my experience. I'm going to use it on you to have a safe delivery. And I promise you that what happened the other time will never repeat itself again. <laughs> Can you hear that? That's better, Elizabeth. You have to follow the doctor's description <laughs> in total. <laughs> Thank you, my dear. When you, when, when you have any strange feeling, when you have any complaint, Feel free to come here. Okay. Not that you'll be consulting other doctors. It's 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 not good. It's not good. Please take care of yourself. And when you have any strange feeling, feel free to come here. Okay, doctor. And I come will. regularly for your checkup. Okay. 
All right. Thank all right. you so much. Mrs. Susie. Have a nice day. All right. All right. Thank you. Okay. Care. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Thank everything how is work how is family we've not been seeing you here hope no problem yeah no problem as you can see i'm doing fine i'm doing good um it's been a while we've seen you in our hospital it's almost four months now hope no problem and then um, beside where do you get all these drugs from oh never mind it's just for the child it makes the child look beautiful and healthy. Please don't tell my husband. It was a friend that gave it to me. It really works. A friend? Which of the friends? Mrs. Godwin, didn't you get the description of these drugs? It's very harmful to your health and to the baby. It's poisonous. I think I need to throw this away. Sir, will you leave me and let me decide what to do? Ah, this pregnancy has clocked six months now, and nothing has happened to it. Is it a must I make use of your hospital? Let me try other doctors. Maybe when I want to give birth to other children, I can make use of your hospital, okay? Can't you see how beautiful and healthy I am? Mrs. Godwin, your husband must not hear about this. And besides, he has paid for all of this. I think I need to throw this away very, very urgent. You dare not. What are you trying to do? Please bring my drugs. See, I know you and my husband are five fancies. And please, make sure you keep your mouth shut, okay? You cannot leave. You mean I should take my leave? Please, do that very fast. What are you trying to do? You mean I should go? Yes. She said you can leave. She's an adult and mature to know what to choose. And she has chosen the right path. So leave. Mrs. Goldwyn, you just heard what she said. So I should take my leave? Please, leave. Please, do that very fast. Please, leave. of the kind of friends you'll be accommodating. This man has nothing to offer than to discourage you. But thank God you've wisened up. Anyways, I brought Dr. Essen to check on the of the Thank you so much, dear friend. Ah, Dr. Essen, you're welcome. Thank you so much, dear friend. Eh? You're just too good to me. Eh? What can I use to repay this without taking any amount of money from me? Thank you so much. That's not a problem. You're welcome. Yeah, uh, Mrs. Elizabeth Godwin, um, without wasting much of our time, I think we should go in now. I need to do some check up on you. Okay. Thank you. Hi, baby. The baby is doing fine. Before the other doctor takes over or brainwash her, beside her husband will soon be back and he needs to see her good work on her. Your job is too slow. Damn it. Um, madam, madam, uh, we need to make things slow and steady, one step at a time. We need to do one thing before the other. I'm seriously working on it and I'm very sure very soon you will greet me well done job. Okay, we move. Okay, 
Yeah, uh, Mrs. Um, Godwin, you you need to take it easy. You need to take it easy there, easy, 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 easy. easy. The injection I gave you is a powerful one. It's a powerful one. So you need to, you need to, you need to get to more time and rest. You need to sleep right now. You really need to sleep. Okay. Yeah. Doctor, are you sure nothing will happen to me and the baby? Because I can't get myself. I'm feeling weak and dizzy. Yeah, nothing will happen to you. Actually, the injection is mainly for the baby. Mm, it's for the embryo, not really for you. It's to make the baby stronger. Do you understand? So you, what you need now is rest. You just need to get some more time and rest. Okay. Please take care of yourself. Don't Thank stress you, yourself, please. Thank you. You are welcome. Madam, it is done. Disgrace and disappointment. Please. Upon all the warnings I gave you, <laughs> you finally chose a way of perdition. <laughs> so there are ways that seem as right before <laughs> men, but the hands <laughs> is dead. <laughs> you terminated this pregnancy. <laughs> A pregnancy that is meant to be for this nation. A pregnancy that is meant to be for this generation and generations to come. But you terminated it. By listening to the counsel of the ungodly. I took my precious time. I took my precious time to invest this pregnancy in you. I took my precious time Please. to invest this vision in you. Please. But 
you are bought at this pregnancy ah, by listening to the counsel of the ungodly. Oh, you are bought at this pregnancy ah. by listening to the counsel of the strangers. Ah, Do you deserve mercy at all? Ah. You are not content with what I left with you. Ah. I left Dr. Comforter with you. Ah, please, Dr. Comforter. That is meant to be your friend. That is meant to be a teacher. That is meant to be your mentor. But you neglected him. You're listening to Dr. Essen. You're listening to Mrs. Lucy. We stand to be a distraction to you. No, no, no. What a waste I love the fine resources. Ah. I am so disappointed in you. Please. <laughs> you don't deserve this. Ah, no. Let me remind you if you have forgotten. Ah. This is the fourth pregnancy that you ah. had. Hit. The fourth one. Ah, please. Just because of your carelessness. Amazing. Your ah. relevance. In this kingdom uh, is withdrawn. Uh, no. You no longer have access to this kingdom. Please don't miss me. I am so disappointed. Please don't miss me. Your relevance, your relevance in this kingdom, in this kingdom is withdrawn. Is withdrawn. You never cease to surprise me and you never disappoint me at any time. I am really, really impressed. I can see that you have terminated a lot of pregnancies out there and I'm really impressed by that. You really deserve to be promoted. Seven heads await you in my palace tonight. Thank you. My Lord, it is my joy serving you. And this my life will I live to destroy and terminate and abort a lot of pregnancies out there, my Lord. And never forget that we have a lot of pregnancies out there to terminate. And I will never relent in bringing them before you. You are right. You are very right. We need to walk fast as soon as possible. Just one chance. I am finished. Please.
leave here now before I lose my temper on both of you. Save me! I'm busy! Oh, foolish generation! Which God are you calling now? Is it the one you violate his rules and regulations? Your crime can change anything here. Indirectly, you have been initiated into our court. You still have some drugs to take. Dr. SM, if she refuses to follow you peacefully, drag her in, beat her, and force her to take it. <laughs> <laughs> The doctor of abortion. And my mission is to abort the pregnancy of great dreams, visions, and great destinies. I'm glad I've succeeded on you. Jesus Christ. This is very, very powerful. Very powerful. Balumi, can I ask you a question? What later happened to Elizabeth? Ah, that was how Elizabeth ended her life. In the court of Dr. S.A. and Mrs. Lizzie. Chai! That, that was how her vision and dreams were sabotaged. Hmm. Yes. Balumi, who is this Dr. S.A. and Mrs. Lucy? What a brilliant question. Mrs. Lucy happens to be that old serpent, the Lucifer, the accuser, the devil. Never forget what the Bible says in the book of James, that we should be vigilant, we should be sober because of adversaries, that is looking for whom to devour. He is strategizing day and night to look for whom to devour. Hmm. Dr. Hessen happens to be social media bad companies, immoralities, like masturbation, chronographies, and a lot more. Dr. Comforter is the only spirit, the mediator, the comforter, our teacher. Hmm. Why Mr. Godwin happens to be Jesus Christ? Never forget what the Bible says in the book of John, chapter 16. When we are reading that word, he says, how is expedient of I should go, that when I go, I will send someone who will be the comforter, the spirit of the truth, that will guide us all to all truth. Brethren, <laughs> you see today, many of us come to church to take, to revive, but we go home and waste them on social media. Yes, this is how many come to church to take and they waste it. Mm. Ah, this is deep. God save this generation. Yes, only God can save this generation. Yet, we have our own part to play. But our own part is played. God's part will never be committed. So when your part is played, when you are committed to that dealings of God, then you become an altar erected upon the surface of the head. Mm. Mm. Then mm. the Holy Spirit started coming to your altar because altar attracts spirits. Mm. Brethren, can you recognize your own addiction? The addiction that we are talking about, Dr. Hesse, is the social media. Many take body in the presence of the Lord and wasted them upon social medias. They wasted it on a, with, with a bad companies, with immoralities. And lots more. Where are you wasting your own body? Ready. That's why you need to pray that the Lord should pull you out, out of this addiction. You, if you don't recognize that addiction, you still be there. This is your media, your own addiction. This is your media, a lot of, a lot more. They are the addiction. God, pull me out of this. Pull me out.
until you are, until you recognize that as victor. You win. You cannot be free. But when you recognize that as victor, you will be free. Try to go and say, Come on, all this great world. A lot of people they are sitting now past them yes. to be sincere. To they are sitting their time and past them. The Bible said the children of Israel they understand time and season. They know what Israel ought to do at a particular time. Oh yes. Many people today they are laboring yet the vision has given God to them. But they miss out the season. And that season, that season, we call something a statue in the realm of the a window. And when that window is closed, that time has passed. God give you It's our time to move your church. 